Hello everyone, this is Trisha and you are watching Media Dictionary. Today, we will be discussing about the term content moderation. Social media, as we know it today, gives us a platform to voice our opinions. It not only allows us to express our opinions, but it also exposes us to a variety of opinions that could appear on the same matter. It won't be wrong for me to say that social media allows us to voice our opinions on topics or incidents that are happening in the far ends of the world, right from the comfort of our house. With the advent of multiple social media platforms and the culture of influencers, a lot of people have started posting their content online. But this trend has a flip side to it. There are many people that could post harmful content in front of the audience. For example, during the COVID times, we have seen or we have come across many such posts which spread disinformation, misinformation and fake news regarding COVID. In this particular scenario, most of the social media sites often use a technique of content moderation. Content moderation is a technique opted by social media sites to analyze the user-generated content to understand whether the content posted by them is harmful to the audience or not. They do so by analyzing the content through their community guidelines. If a content violates any single or any one of the community guidelines in one way or the other, the content could either be held out and the user could be notified or it could be taken down from the social media site. Content moderation generally occurs in two ways. First is pre-moderation. Generally, when the content is in the process of being put online, it goes through a process of screening, where the content moderators try to analyze if the content is trying to break any of the community guidelines. If the content breaks any of the single community guidelines, then the content is held off and the user is notified. This is called as pre-moderation. The second is post-moderation. It generally occurs after the content is being posted online. If the content creates some sort of communal hatred, spreads the misinformation, disinformation or fake news of any sort, then the content could be deleted by the social media platform. This is called as post-moderation. Content moderation could be done in two methods. The first is through human moderators and the second is AI automated content moderators where machines basically play the role of content moderators. We have been talking about content moderators and content moderation a lot. Yet, this raises a dilemma that we come across a lot of social media posts that still spread communal hatred, misinformation, disinformation and fake news amongst the masses. To this day, we can see hateful content spreading way faster than valuable pieces of information or even content. So, you can tell me your opinions in our comment section and I will meet you next week with a new term. Till then, keep watching Media Dictionary. Thank you.